is being a boo rat right now? Am I too happy? Should I not be too happy in my intro? What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been months, but now I feel like I finally have my groove on again. First things first, I want to address some weird things in this video. First off is my background. I am still trying to figure out what kind of background I want. I used to think that I was fine with, you know, the window behind me, but I'm thinking of getting a new set of lights, a ring light specifically, so watch out for that. Maybe I will buy it. Um, second, there might be a couple of noises that you hear, but I will try my best to smother that with some background music. And third is this piece of hair. I don't know what's going on with this, so let's just let's just ignore this for a second. Let's just ignore her throughout this whole video. So today's video is going to be an updated makeup routine. I upload one every year and I usually do it around springtime. Mainly because that is the time of the year when I get my together. So I take the first three months of the year to collect myself and then April is when I get my together. Wait, another thing I have to address is that I'm using two huge windows as my light source. So I'm using natural light. So if my skin tone switches, just ignore that. This is my skin fresh out of the shower. I have not used anything yet, but I do use the St. Ives apricot scrub, apricot scrub, I don't know how you say it, but that little thing, I always have the jar version. But after that, I prep my skin with this Thayer's Witch Hazel, I don't know if it's a toner, I honestly don't know what it is, in lavender. Yes, so, okay. I texted my mom because she was on I was like, oh, have you tried this? And I was like, no, I've been wanting to try it, but I don't know why I never really picked it up. So I picked it up one day at Ulta, just the baby bottle because I wanted to try it out. And then, like two days later, I had like four ginormous zits, pimples on my nose. So I texted my mom. I was like, mom, it doesn't work. It messed up my skin. She was like, oh no, that's so sad. So I thought it was this thing causing it. Bruh, my period came like literally a day after those sits popped up. So I was like, oh, it's not the thingy. It's my period. Beauty people out there are probably gonna think I'm dumb, but I use lotion on my face. I use the St. Ives body lotion. It's the skin renewing collagen and elastin lotion. But this has worked great for my skin. I know you're supposed to use it on your body, but I use it on my skin. This is how my skin looks like now. I do have an even skin tone. I don't know the solution for that. I mean, hello, you can see like my marks right here. This is fairer than this. And then my neck is like a total different color. This year is the year that I actually decided to start trying out new products. Um, if you've watched my videos, I'm very loyal to products just because one, I'm lazy to try new products and two, they if they work for me, great. Like I don't really see the point of trying out new stuff, but this year is a year that that's all going to change. And I was very loyal to my No Pore Bloom Primer, which I found out from Jeffree Star and I literally used that for maybe a year years um, I've been using it for quite a while and then I said okay it's time for a change I decided to buy the Tatcha silk canvas primer so I have the baby one because I was scared to buy the big one for two reasons one it was expensive AF it was like 60 something dollars or 50 something dollars around that price range so I was like mmm do I really want to spend that much on primer that I'm not sure if it works for me yet? So I went to the little checkout area in Sephora where they have the minis and they had a small one for $20. So, and okay, 
inverted it works really good so I take this much and then I focus on my nose where I have the biggest pores this year is the year of trying out new things so I decided to finally buy the foundation that I have been putting off of buying for like months almost a year now it is the Fenty Pro Filter foundation if you follow me on Instagram I did like a mini review of this but basically it changed my life I don't bake every day now which is really good because I'm trying to make my skin breathe this foundation is definitely not matte it is kind of matte do a little bit and just go fast because it sets really fast now we're moving on to brows this one I don't think I'm ready to switch out yet or change I have been so loyal to the Anastasia dip brow in chocolate and it honestly lasts me a long time so I've only bought maybe like three four oh this one's empty i've only bought maybe like two of these in the whole three years that i've been using it so now i need to open a new one i honestly don't know if this is the right match for my hair but this is the old bottle and look at this new one it's so smooth I cannot. I love it. So when it comes to my brows, I literally don't think just because I have so much brow hairs already, so I don't see the point in like thinking about it so much. But these are not clean. As you can see, they are super messy. So what I like to do is I take a foundation because I do not use concealer I take a foundation and I use that as my concealer so these are my eyebrows cleaned up they are not cooperating today but they're supposed to be there's not twins one of them wants to be high maka maka today and one just wants to be like Ugh. I use a brow gel but honestly I found out that you don't really have to buy those brow gels just use regular gel you know like for the guy's hair or for your hair so this is what I used to buy I used to buy the elf um, brow gel it has like one eyelash and one eyebrow but honestly I just refilled this with regular hair gel because I mean eyebrows are hairs so I just run it through make sure they are flat on my face and then I'm done for the day so this is how my skin looks like now with all the primer foundation and eyebrows now that I've flattened my face with foundation I contour my face or bronze I honestly don't know the difference so if I'm doing it wrong this is just how I do it for around the face contour I use the wet and wild um, mega glow contouring palette in a caramel toffee so as you can see I don't really use the highlight part but I hit pan on the contour part so I just go really really lightly I don't try to hide the fact anymore that I'm chubby because I am. My new favorite thing this year is contouring my nose. This Filipino nose is too much for me. It's too round. It's too, it's too flat. Like I want to get a nose job. For my nose contour, I use three different things. I use the shade and light palette. I use this paddle brush that's like a, a, a paintbrush and a Morphe M503 which is like your regular shader brush but it's kind of it's kind of tapered like that I don't know if you can see it's kind of pinched I learned that if you want to contour your nose you have to go for a warmer shade I mean a cooler shade so this is cool what I do is I 
lay my brush flat pick up some product and tap off the excess because it's gonna be a lot so then because it's like this you just line it up have to look down but I'm gonna keep talking so I just line it up the sides of my nose so I don't know if you can see there's like a line it's really harsh I do the same on the other part so there's again another oh my gosh look at that instant nose job and then I just bring it down to the bulby part of my nose and then I bring up to my brows too so now that we have our nose lined up we are going to use the brush and just soften those lines a little bit because we don't want them too harsh this actually takes quite a while for me I don't know maybe I'm just not blending it right but I'm learning my nose contour tricks just until I get money for a nose job <laughs> I kind of I see that I kind of messed up right here in the middle so I'm gonna take my um, my sponge that I used for my foundation earlier no new product this is just all the leftover product and i'm gonna run it down the bridge of my nose just to clean up a little bit of that there so that is my nose one of the things i'm also trying to do this year is to use more eyeshadow honestly i'm fine with just going out like this you know with some lashes a little bit of blush a little bit of lips but this year, I feel like I need to step up my game and start playing with eyeshadow more. I am trying to use my Jaclyn Hill palette more. Um, but you know, I still use like this section right here, which... Hold on! Hello! Hi! Hi! You're fine. What's up? I have a question. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Sorry, that was my friend. As I was saying, so Jaclyn Hill palette, but I still use the neutrals because I don't really think I can wear this to work or like black for a job in the daytime so now we prime our eyelids with the same foundation just a little bit and i just use my finger this is a really thick one so i just blend it i just use my finger to prime all over my eyelids like so and i'm gonna take the shade Yuki right in the middle over here and that's just gonna be like my transition shade so and then what I do is I take a light shimmer shadow I usually go between this one or this one it's a light shimmer they're both kind of pinkish pinkish we're gonna do this shade which is called cran apple so you can see it's just like a light wash and I just use my finger and I just go over my eyelid area if I feel like I put too much shimmer then I just take that same brush that I use and I just go over it not adding any more powder so 2019, like I said, trying new things, this is like the fourth or fifth or third time I said that already, but I still cannot bring myself to use eyeliner every single day just because I don't like how much effort it takes and then sometimes it smears if you don't use the right product. Girl, I can live without eyeliner as long as you give me my false eyelashes. I'm just going to curl my real lashes my real close to non-existent lashes because okay like that is the most that they would curl that's why i don't even want to try anymore we are using popsicle lashes from live laugh love lashes and 
I just use my tweezers to pinch them like this. And I am also using a new lash glue. I am using the Duo Strip Lash, I mean Quick Set Strip Lash Adhesive. Y'all know I love my House of Lashes glue, but for some reason, Miss Sephora over here doesn't sell them anymore. Can you see the difference? Like, I look like a whole new person. Now we're just gonna add the finishing touches. We are literally almost done. So for blush, I am pretty loyal to blush and honestly, I don't really care for blush that much. As long as I look pretty rosy, I'm fine. So I still use my MAC palette. Peaches is of course the one that hit pan and my Nars Orgasm. Oh. My Nars Orgasm, which I also hit pan on already. As you can see so we're just gonna do that with my Sigma F25 tapered brush and just really really lightly honestly I lean into orgasm more just because it's already rosy and it has like very very light shimmer in it so I don't really need to put on highlighter very last part of my makeup routine are my lips and this year, I have strayed away from liquid lipsticks. So I remember I was all about Kat Von D Lolita. And then after that, I was all about NYX Liquid Suede. And then after that, I was all about NYX Ka oh, Wet n Wild um, Cat Suit. Now I am back to bullet lipsticks. This is Maybelline's Touch of Spice 660. But... I do not apply it straight from the tube. This is how it looks. It's just, it's really nice brownie pink. I do not apply it straight from the tube. I take my finger and I just get like this much. And then I dab it on my lips. Just because I feel like this color is already great. But sometimes it can be a little too harsh, a little too strong, and a little too pinky so this is it for my face you guys we are done it's very like light if you know me I would always bake my face before so I'm so glad we're over that so a couple of things that I forgot to mention in the video earlier is that I did not set my face with powder as you can see I just dove in straight to my bronzer contour and my blush and that's that's it all because Fenty is already a self-setting foundation and Honestly, I just don't want to look so cakey throughout the whole day. And second, while I still don't use eyeliner, I also do not use mascara. I have not been using mascara for ever since I started using false lashes. Just because, one, it ruins the lashes, the false lashes that I put on, and I really don't see the need for it because I have really sparse, really short lashes. So that's it for today's video i really hope to be uploading more this year that's my goal so watch out for my next video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye and if it changes just rude oh <laughs> it's my friend so before we start this video before we get before we get along with this video before we start with it, <laughs> I cannot with myself. I know it's not though. I hate myself. I'm gonna miss you, Sam. I look cute.